I've been drinking coffee wrong all my life. <laughs> next adventure we're gonna go to San Jose Costa Rica we're taking the 6 a.m. we're going 6 a.m. to Atlanta and then we're gonna just transfer like a quick hour and then we take the flight to San Jose we're gonna get there at 11 a.m. we're gonna get the car get the hotel we're gonna go to a volcano today and then we're gonna celebrate a birthday dinner so it's gonna be a very exciting day that starts really early we're here at the Delta lounge and it's completely empty let me just show you around but there is no one here, which is great. Absolutely no one in here. Well, okay, there are two humans there. <laughs> Let's do this to the plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my goodness, dude. There's gonna be a lot of Spanish in this video. Mucho español, vamos a hablar español todo el tiempo. No hay problema. No hay problema, todo español. Vamos a ver cómo nos va. Well, our plane hasn't left yet. They will be waiting for us. <laughs> so we are on Terminal E, as in Edward. This is the international terminal. There are, they have two here in ATL, Terminal F and Terminal E. Usually the big flights, the long flights always leave from F, but I guess since we're going to Costa Rica, it might not be as long, so we are in Terminal E. If you fly to Colombia, it's also E. I don't know, it changes, but that's usually what happens right now actually get back to our time zone or whatever. One of the most important things when you're flying in these times is to kill Show us how you do it. However, I'm fully vaccinated. Oh. Hola, Chico Evis. Sí. Oh, he's just sleep with us? Sí. Wait for anyone else? No. Bueno, eso está muy organizado acá en Costa Rica. Estoy, pero choqueado. The airport was extremely, extremely good. Super seamless. The bag was waiting for us. The immigration was super fast, contactless, everything. Wow. I'm really impressed at how organized they are here. Llegamos. Llegamos. Okay, we can take the shuttle. Again, shuttle. To take the car. And... We are off to the hotel. It was so streamlined to come into this airport. It really, really shocked how good it was. Pulpito, pulpito. Con pancito aquí. How's the octopus? El pulpo, mm. ¿cómo está el pulpo? Pulpo. I'm going to try. Sorry, vegan. Está bueno, ¿no? Vamos en camino a, a un Starbucks coffee farm. Eh, I know it sounds basic, but it has excellent reviews. And people that don't even like a Starbucks, like it. So. We're driving there, we're driving to the mountain. It's been like maybe 35 minutes now. Uh, very rural, very green roads. Coffee tour y café, Hacienda Alasia. No, Alasia. ¿Qué significa Hacienda? Hacienda is como like farm. Factory. No, not factory, like farm. Like big farm. They're controlling the capacity right now. And they gave us this number, 44. And then just wait in your car and then say Pura Vida. Coffee. So, did you drink coffee? Yes. Not yet. No, like normally. So, we're gonna see how the life of a coffee plant starts. And we need to see. Right here, I have the coffee. 
So the same seeds are also the same coffee beans. I want you to pick one and keep with you. Maybe you can keep in your pocket. Okay. Just because then we're gonna need them. I wanna show you something. Okay. 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 So we just plant the seeds. And then we need to wait two months to see the first stage. In two months, there will be this one. It gets dark. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. And then we're going to see a different stage in one week and a half or two weeks. Right here, you can see the process. You can see how the leaves are coming. And then they will look like this ones. So it will be two months plus 15 days. That means that the butterfly is going to provide food and protection to the little babies of them. Then we have the real leaves. But let's see what happens to the butterfly. I die. Exactly. So they get completely dry. We wait one year. That is when they look like this. One year? Yeah. So we oh. wait one year and then we move them to the coffee table. So we call this coffee rust. Esta la roya del coffee. The coffee rust is also fungus that moves with the, with the wind. Just to give you like an idea, the fungus from Brazil. Okay? So that's why when the fungus are very tropical, just red. Yeah. That's why we call them cherries. Ah, that's why we call them cherries. Yeah. Eso le llamamos cerecitas por el color. Las cerecitas. Y si te la comes así, if you eat it like that. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, Two in one. Oh. Mm -hmm. wow. Coffee rustics pay about one dollar and five cents per box, and they basically need to keep doing this throughout the day. La producción de café y toda su la voz cambiara la manera en que ustedes de nuestro grano de oro. It's the same. It's dried already. Right? Exactly. So that means that to get the seeds, we need to buy everything that I told you. Crazy. <laughs> also, if, you, if we want to use for seeds, we need to keep them that way. If we want to use for coffee that we're going to grow, we'll remove another shell. Six minutes inside the machine. At the minute number six, the coffee will start to smell, but not like coffee. It smells like popcorn with butter, but similar. <laughs> we continue roasting, and we are right to the minimum number 10. At the minimum number 10, the beans they pop, like the popcorn. They pop, they crack inside the roaster. When we roast coffee, we always have two pops. Our second pop will be at the minimum number 12. Immediately that we release the coffee from the machine, we call it how the pops outside. At the end, medium roast. Really important when we use a company consider medium roast. Maybe other companies they can consider dark yes, roast. Yes. The profile of roast depends on the companies. Yes. And that the coffee that we're roasting is the one that we're gonna taste. So we have been from at the Japanese Saison, but I also was created in Germany by a scientific firm. So you can see Filter because when everything goes down, we filter the coffee. See, we're 90 seconds, we spin less time, and then you can see how the coffee goes in. I'm gonna try it. Let's smell. Let's smell. Okay, let's be careful. First, the smell. Machine. Machine. I've been drinking coffee wrong all my life. <laughs> Thank you. Thank delighting here to 
try a croquette, goat cheese with mango, and a, a leaf. Crepe. Okay, ¿cómo se llama? Crepe. 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 ¿De un totazo? The cheese overtakes the flavor. A hint of mango on the background. And the croquette gives it a crunch. Está bueno. It's good. Chuka Amnida, Amor, ¿qué es esto? ¡Ah! ¡Feliz cumpleaños!